a warm day at Tuna Lake. Let's see what the gauge says. I have another one because the one on the right is not functioning anymore. You can't read it. But let's see what the one on the left says. I don't know if you can see it. Oh yeah. But it is about 50 degrees Celsius right now in the full sun, that is. So. That is in the full sun. But uh, all this garden cress and chive make a big difference. I have good ground coverage over here. It could be a little better, but what matters is this. My water temperature is 18 degrees Celsius and this week we are going to have a warm week with temperatures, ambient temper temperatures uh, around 30 degrees Celsius. Let's see what that is in Fahrenheit. That is about 85 Fahrenheit. And uh, before I had all the grow beds filled with vegetation, the temperature would go, go up to 20 degrees Celsius, 23 degrees Celsius. So if it stays between 18 and 20, I will be a happy camper. And it it looks as if it does because I have watched before and the temperature doesn't go up that much since I have the garden grass planted uh, seeded. So this is practice what you preach. I don't need all that garden grass and chive, at least not as food, but it is very useful because now it protects my system against the heat. And at a later stage, I can pull it out in the winter and use it for my compost bin so it is not a waste and I get so many seeds from this little patch that I can do ten times more after I collected the seeds it's for free and this, this stuff grows really easy and it grows really fast and uh, it, it does the job so that's why I like it and uh, if I plant want to plant something else I can simply pull it out and put something else in place but for the meanwhile it is uh, doing a great job with protecting the system against the heat and that's what matters and that is also why I installed uh, this to protect against the sun and the heat and that is why I put the green stuff at the back also against the heat and that is why I have put planted those shrubs over here to protect against the sun and to create some shade for my pond.
and it, do, it, it, it is doing a great job. And that is also why I have put the lava rocks over here. It is also a protection against the birds, against the heron and cats. But it also helps against the heat and against extreme cold in the winter. It does, it does multiple jobs. And I made these and this one and this one also to create shade for the pond. Because all the all the tall vegetation is all on the south side from the pond. And I did it all to create shade and to pr protect against the heat. Because I only have a very small amount of water in my pond system. So it can heat up fairly quickly. And that can uh, mess up all kinds of things. So. There is some fish fry trying to eat, but you can't see them, I think. Well, I also have a frog in my system, a frog. It likes, it likes to hang out here, but right now I don't see it. But that is a nice compliment for my work. I hope that it, it doesn't eat all my fish fry. But that's okay, it can eat some. There is enough. Well folks, 50, 50 degrees Celsius uh, in the sun in my system. But uh, it is doing okay. Uh, that's it for now. I hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching and I hope to see you in the next time. Bye bye.